Our live team coverage continues in the race for U.S. Senate. Independent Dan Osborne mounted a strong challenge to incumbent Republican Deb Fisher. KETV News Watch 7's Waverly Monroe is live with the Osborne campaign. Waverly. At Julie and Rob, things are really picking up. The energy is coming into the room as people behind me are starting to fill in the chairs. But here with me is the international representative for the United Association of Steam Fitters and Plumbers, Dan Osborne's union. We have Brad Bird here. Can you tell me why today is so important? If Dan wins, what this means for working guys like you? Personally, to me, I've been friends with Dan for a long time. We went to high school together. We reconnected during the Kellogg strike. He became a member of our union. And um, he'll be a voice for labor, um, somebody we can always sit down to. He'll have our back, have a seat at the table. And, and Dan's just a very genuine good guy. He's the right guy for this position. We're very excited about it. Thank you so much, Brad. And now we head to the other side of this race. KETV News Watch 7's uh, Maddie Augustine is at Deb Fisher's uh, ro ha rally. 45 years old. Yes, thanks, Waverly. As you just heard, Pete Ricketts is on the stage right now calling this election a success. And the other Republican candidates here tonight, including Flood, Bacon, and Fisher, are hoping to do the same later this evening. I spoke with Senator Deb Fisher briefly as she arrived here tonight, and she says she's feeling good, and she's just grateful to be surrounded by her family and colleagues, including Representative Mike Flood, who says supporting one another is just what the Republican Party does. Human trafficking, child trafficking. Sex trafficking, drug trafficking, fentanyl pouring in. All right, Maddie, thanks. 